All right, welcome to another trading analytics video. Today I'm gonna to be going over a few areas of the market that you should probably keep an eye on going for the, going through the rest of the week. Uh, as you guys know, it is a short week and a, a low volume week at that. So you're really gonna to wanna to have your trade plans put together. Hopefully this video will help you uh, do that. So first and foremost, we're gonna go ahead and start off with the S&P 500 or SPY. And the biggest thing that we wanna pay attention to here is we did get the uh, move over the elections as you guys can see that big move up hit our upper trend line here and rejected once we got that rejection we as we basically came back to retest the breakout uh, which we uh, caught support from that's right around that 584 level from this 584 level we've been basically bouncing uh, and i expect that we will be putting in a brand new high uh, in very short order we're right around the highs as we speak uh, at this moment uh, I do expect uh, that we can test this 508 level. And what is that 508 level? It's basically uh, a retest of uh, this particular trend line here. Also your upper Bollinger Band as well. So I do imagine that we will come up here uh, to test this level uh, at some point, uh, probably either uh, probably early next week um, or maybe, maybe towards the end of next week. I'm not 100% sure. I really don't want to put a time on this. However, um, we're clearly on our, our path there. And uh, we did, uh, in the Discord server, we did take a SPY swing right at the retest of this breakout here. Uh, we've, we've done really, really well on it. We're up over 100% at this moment, as you guys can obviously tell. Uh, if we've been buying from the 584, uh, and now we're just over 600. So it's a pretty, pretty decent sized move. And uh, folks in the server ate very, very well there. So just, just bringing it all back here, I would expect that you will test 608 at some point here um, in the near future. That is your upper Bollinger Band. That is a uh, meaningful resistance and your upper trend line here as well. So keep an eye on that for SPY. All right, jumping right over to QQQ here. As you guys can see, much like SPY, I do think we're going to put in a brand new all-time high in Qs at some point in December. Uh, the all-time high in Qs is going to be sitting right around that 515 level. I think we can think about testing that level once we get over 511. From the 511 level, I think, like I said, we'll test that 515 area. From 515 is the biggest key. Do we double top there? That's question number one. Or do we break it and put in a new all-time high? Now, the all, new all-time high that I do believe we will put in uh, at some point in December is going to be in the 520s. Where am I getting 520 from? That's a, simply a, a trend line, uh, upper trend line that I have placed in here that does put us somewhere around 520, 525, somewhere in there. Uh, assuming we break 515 so i would keep an eye on that level as if you do see that we are putting in brand new highs on cues from that point i do think that will be a meaningful top uh probably for the year once we get up here and test that uh, upper trend line i think i do think we can fall away from there and probably come down to test the uh lower trend line uh probably that and that will probably be somewhere down in the 515s so again i literally think it's literally from level to level here once you break that 515 level, look for the upper trend line. From the upper trend line at the end of the year, you probably can start looking to reject some point in January down to the lower trend line. So I think I do, that's what I have on the QQQ. We did play uh, the Qs. Uh, they had an hourly double bottom on the Qs that we were able to catch uh, in our $1,000 to $10,000 challenge. It was a very, very successful trade. Uh, I think we did around 40-something to 50% on it. Uh, so again, that was in our 1, 1K to 10K challenge, which we're having a lot of fun with at the moment in our Discord server. All right, jumping right over to our semiconductor ETF or SOXX. This is the ETF that I think has a lot of upside here and is flashing a very, very good entry at the moment. So I'll go through and explain it. And maybe you guys can get some gains out of it uh, if you're able to take advantage of this tomorrow. So there is a double bottom here that took place on the daily chart here on the semiconductor ETF. We obviously got the breakout from that double bottom neckline uh, there. And essentially we rejected um, our midline Bollinger Band to retest the breakout of the double bottom. From here, guys, I think we can bounce to 227. Where I'm getting 227 from is this uh, downtrend line that we've been uh, rejecting from for quite a while here on the daily chart. Uh, you can see that we rejected it here, here, and here. Uh, so a retest of this level here was right around 227. I do think we can get back towards that level or somewhere in the 220s, assuming we can clear some of these EMAs here uh, back to the upside. I do think this is a very, very good entry here because if we're wrong, we can stop, simply stop out for a very, very minimal loss. Again, what, what I would do is if we get a daily candle close back below this breakout level, that would be where I would look to stop out of this trade. But assuming bulls and buyers show up here 
Uh, I think we can get a retest of that uh, of this trend line some point in December. So I do think this is a very, very good entry that you could take here. Um, obviously not financial advice. You'll be doing so at your own risk. But I do like this entry here on the Semiconductors ETF. All right, jumping over to Metastock here, as you guys can see, uh, we did have some meaningful consolidation here on Meta here, which I really, really liked. I was just waiting for bulls to give me a sign that they were going to be uh, making a move. And we got that, right? So we did play this in our Discord server as well. I think we were up around 60% at the peak um, of Meta. However, uh, you know, from here, I do think there is a little bit more upside in Meta, assuming bulls can hold this 570 level. Um, I do have us coming back uh, up here towards 595 at some point in December. Um, to, you know, again, test that upper Bollinger Band, that's right at 595. In addition to that, over the 595 level, I think we can get here up in, up into the mid 600s. Uh, simply, be, you know, this is simply a upper trend line uh, that, that has been spanning back for quite uh, quite a while here. You can see from early in the year, uh, back in March and April, uh, again, we've, we've been rejecting this line several times. So again, I do believe that um, Meta can get up into these levels here, like I said, the mid 600s assuming we're able to break 595 but currently guys we're sitting at 573 even the move to 595 would, would be a pretty significant one if you're if you're playing call options so i really really like uh, a, a potential move on meta because of the sideways consolidation that we have uh as well and i do think that uh, you know again with the low volume week that we're having and we're we are in a bull trend overall in the overall uh, market i do think that meta can go up there and test that 595 level anything over that 595 level set your sights on this upper trend line here that i have drawn in right away we are locked and loaded in our discord server uh, so once again link to that will be in the description of our video hopefully you guys enjoyed some of the analysis that i gave you guys today and you hope you guys can also make some money uh, based on some of the analysis that i put out there for you guys so that being said i uh, hope you guys uh, have a great holiday, and I'll see you guys after Thanksgiving. God bless. Perfect. Perfect.